What's going on, y'all? You know who this is by the intro, apparently. Well, of course, but uh, this is Mr. Warmack. You know all the AKAs. Say him down there, make a video saying all the AKAs and let's rock and roll. But I uh, came to do a video today about. I'm tired of all these. Well, I can't get tired because it's always going to happen. So I'm just tired of hearing all these people, negative people, especially these victims on YouTube, cry and whine. But yet, at the same time, you ask them how to fix their problem, they don't want. They don't have an answer. They don't have a solution. They just have a crying whining. Now, I get this a lot, especially people don't do it in my comments like they used to. Well, they do this in my uh, inbox, on my my uh, Gmail, the uh, at out of focus, out of underscore focus at lowrententertainment.com. Hit me up with the emails, but uh, they hit me like I, I I love the support I'm getting. Thank you, I appreciate that. From shout out to everybody up in Connecticut, you know how it is. Shout out to Costco, and uh, when you got these victims, well, then and, and these are self these are these are self willing victims. These aren't people that you know just happen to have bad luck. These are people that had bad luck because they chose to have bad luck. These are people whose actions led them to the situations that they're in. Now let me go on. There's been one, there's this one big cry baby. He wants to blame everybody else for his actions. But if you look at his history, he has a history of just, I hate to say this, of being a fuck up. Excuse my French, mademoiselle. But he does. You look at his history, he wants to loud talk. And the stuff he's saying doesn't make sense. Let me put it this way. To a normal human being that has reasoning and that has skills where you can decipher things, he's not a normal human being. He's got he got major issues. And he always wants to cry and whine about, well, this and that and slavery. And I told him, if you're still held by slavery, that's because you're willing to be held by slavery. I said, you're, you're a voluntary slave. You want to be a slave. See, a lot of these people want want to use it, keep using these excuses which by the way that a lot of liberals will give them to you they want to use these excuses, you want to know why? because it, it, it gives them a reason not to fight their problem because I can, I can say this is the reason, this is the reason that holds me down this is the reason that holds me down, but at the same time I gotta ask myself, what am I doing to get myself out of this situation and a lot of people aren't asking themselves that a lot of people are glad to be stuck in this situation because it gives them an excuse to cry and he gives an excuse to say, well, I can't do it. Well, I need help. Well, you don't need help. If you can make a video on YouTube, you can surely get out of the funk you're in. Now, let me. Let, that being said, there are some cases where there are people who get who gets put in positions that has nothing to do with them. I understand that. But a majority of the time, it's people's own actions that dictate what they're doing now. I mean, you got, so, you got severe jealousy. Like on YouTube, you got people who are jealous because... Other people are making videos and doing good with it. Well, me personally, I'm like, good for them. If you can get on here and make a buck or two off of YouTube, why would I hate about that? You feeding your family. You're being a productive member of society, at least. What it is, is that's what I think that's the coup de gras. I think what it is, they see these people making these videos that are helpful and they're making money. And they're wondering why they can't. It's because people can read phoniness. Now, I could, like, people ask me what I think about so-and-so. And I'll give you an honest answer about so-and-so. Like, some of these guys are just, I wouldn't trust, they're funnier than a $3 bill. I just wouldn't trust them. And people say, like, you, you hear the, this is the biggest one I get to hear, and I get a laugh out of this. When they say, well, you don't know me, well, how am I calling you? How are people, other people saying well, I was right? You want to know why? Because I keep telling you people this. People in America are no different than people in Australia or England or Poland or Lithuania or Cameroon or, you know, New Zealand, China, South Korea, North Korea, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Guyana. People are no different. We all have the basics. We all have the basic needs. We all have the basic problems. To what degree is where you come, where you come in, where you, where, where, to what degree is where it comes in. But we all have the same problems. Like a drunk over in Amsterdam is no less more... To say, is, is basically the same as a drunk over in St. Louis. The only difference is it's probably the skin color in the, in the country and where they're at. Other than that, it's universal. 
But a lot of people don't take in that consideration because, let's face it, a lot of people haven't even been anywhere. Hell, a lot of people haven't even left the west side of their town. So, a trip to the other side of town for them is going out of town. And that's, that's scary to me. But, I want to know from all these people who cry in my inbox, what are you doing besides crying in my inbox to, to, to help the problem? Not to help the problem, to help the solution. Find a solution to get rid of the problem. So I look at the, look at these videos, and I want you to listen to them. If the, like like I tell people, look for people who give you a clear, concise, consistent message. The three C's of YouTube: clear, concise, consistent. If you find someone who does that, that's the person you want to listen to. That's the person who's giving you good advice. As long as it's clear, concise, and consistent, you really can't say nothing against that. And it, it doesn't matter if they're talking about bad or good. As long as they're being consistent, I can't hate that. Because that's they're, they're showing a consistency throughout their videos. I may not like like a video on YouTube I may see, but if they've been consistent with that message, what can I say to them? Hey, man, that's just your video. I'm not going to get up there and make 50 comments saying I hate. I, nowadays, I make make a comment or two, but other than that, I just keep it moving. I, I watch videos. But as long as they're giving you a clear, concise, consistent video, I can't say nothing bad about it. And as far as these victims, I'm like, until you, until you do a video... Showing me or telling me or explaining to me what you're doing to get out of your situation. I can't take none of you serious. Because all you are is just a, You're worse than them chicks putting up naked pictures on Facebook for like every other minute. You know them chicks I'm talking about. You, if I'm in Facebook groups. And add me to your Facebook groups. I'm in some groups that like people add. Like I, I picked like there was 10 groups who I wanted to join. And I asked to join. Well, I'm in like 300 and, or I'm in like three to 400 groups already. I appreciate that, Inv invites and all, but I see these chicks starving for attention. They'll add pictures, what do you think, rate me. Now, if I say a chick's ugly, they're going to hate. I don't rate pictures, that's why. Or you got these clowns that want to show all this Google money. You know, I'm getting money, I'm like, dude, that's the same picture from that Mexican drug bust where I saw it on the news where I had that stack of money in the room. Come on, man. It's just... Re reality is not real to people. Fake is the new real. So, I'm going to let you guys do your fake thing. But don't come in my lane. That's all I'm asking you. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go your fake lane. So, don't come in my lane. So, I'm out of here. Peace.